Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my update for Project Polish. This is my first year doing this and I am learning. And one thing that I have learned this month is that I didn't really choose well in my intro. So I will be adding in another polish even though I don't have any empties yet. As a matter of fact, my progress really isn't that great and I think partially because I've been avoiding some of my warmer tone polishes because I don't have a good topper to go with it. So I will be adding in a warm toned topper and you will see in a few minutes what I mean. Let's get into the progress or lack thereof. Three of my polishes I did not even bother to make a new line on because even though I did use every single polish at least once, it wasn't enough to really bring down the amount of product in there to make it worth putting a line on. Let's start with the Revlon Cherries in the Snow. It's a really pretty color. It was great for Valentine, but it just didn't move anywhere. The same with the Jessica Nails 14 Carats. It just didn't go anywhere. I did use it only once, but I did use it and doesn't look like it. And the OPI by Sephora Till We Meet Again. As you can see, I've used it. It's on my nails now, but not enough to change that line. I do have three that I made just minimal progress on, but I will show you those. Nothing to write home about. The first is my Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. It's a base and top coat. Yes, I'm horrible. Sometimes I forget to put a base coat on. Otherwise, I would have had way more progress on this one. As you can see, I do have a third line there, but barely. The CoverGirl Nail Slick in Plum Fairy. I do have a third line on this one as well. It is not a lot of usage, but it is usage. I do like this color quite a lot, but as dark as this is, it goes on very sheer, so it really needs three coats. So even though I only used that one time because it requires three coats, that's why the volume went down. I've, one of the polishes that I've really been enjoying is this Vanique. This is the Sea Diamonds. And let me show you where the third line is on there. So even though the bottle gets a little bit wider, I have definitely made some progress on it. And as you can see, it is on my nails right now. I absolutely love this. I like chunky glitter, except when it comes time to take it off. So I'm gonna keep using this. I do like it with this OPI by Sephora Till We Meet Again, but I really want an additional topper. So I'm going to be adding that in. This is one that was recently sent to me by my girl Yana in Germany. This is the Catrice Cosmetics Crushed Crystal. Say that 10 times really fast. And this is in 06 Call Me Princess. It is a pink color, which I'm generally not a pink person, but you can see that it has warm toned glitters in it. And I really think this will pair nicely with the Revlon Cherries in the Snow. And because of the warm glitters, I think it will pair nicely with the Plum Fairy by CoverGirl because that has kind of like a gold shift to it. So I think this will make a nice accent nail. It'll be a nice topper. And I think this will also go nicely with the Jessica Nails 14 Carats because that is just a straight gold color. So this might jazz that up a little bit too. There is no place to mark it on here because it is above this little line right here or like the edge of the bottle. So I won't have any line until my next update and hopefully I will need to actually put a line on there. I'm really hoping that adding this topper in will give me some variety and actually encourage me to polish my nails a little more frequently. So I wish this could have been a way more exciting update, but again, this is my first project polish, so I'm learning. I think I'm gonna have a learning curve probably for a few months and then we'll see where it goes from there. Thank you for taking the time today to watch this video. If you have any constructive criticism, I would love to hear it. Please put that down in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.